Okay, Dr. Mindy here, and I want to talk about rushing woman syndrome. So in my Resetter group, we're doing a book study right now on rushing woman syndrome. If you want to join us, just put Resetters in the comment. I'll invite you in. But I'll tell you what I'm seeing in my office. I've experienced it in my own life. I see it with the Resetters. Is that there has been, our nervous system has been so overloaded, and I and I mean that not just by emotional stress, but it's been overloaded by physical stress, chemical stress, that we literally get like stuck in fight or flight reaction, and when we're stuck in fight or flight, we are often in this very tense place where any little bit of stress causes us to have an amplified reaction. So things like uh, irritability, trouble sleeping, heart racing, uh, chronic pain, especially we're seeing this a lot with back pain where people have this chronic uh, tightness in their hips and their back. Digestion, your digestion shuts down when you're in that fight or flight. Those are all indications that your nervous system is overworking. And you literally have two different nervous systems. You have one that revs you up when there's a stress and you have one that calms you down when you're, when you're relaxed. So you need to be teetering between these two. You need to have times where you're stressed, that's great, and you need to have times where you're relaxed. So if you're constantly on the go, if you're constantly getting uh, chemical stress from food and pollution and toxins, then you're gonna really be stuck over here in this fight or flight one. So a couple thoughts I have for you. Um, the first is I, I've heard a lot from people saying, well, I'm not, I'm not overstressed now. I'm not a rushing woman now. And what I want you to know is you have to train your nervous system to start to believe that. So if you're in the book study, we're going to start to do some exercises on, and, and give you some really easy tips you can do to start to tell your body you're not in fight or flight anymore. My second comment that I want you to realize is that being in fight or flight nervous system doesn't necessarily mean that you just have to have emotional stress. So there can be physical stress. So like we see in my office a lot when people are sitting, you're supposed to have curves in your spine. But when you've been sitting all day with your head flexed forward, you create so much pull on your spinal cord that it sends a message to the brain and it tells the brain, hey, there's a crisis down here. We need to do something about it. So in my office, we use tools like chiropractic. We have a vibration plate. We have some home care exercises that we do with people to start to bring these curves back and relax the nervous system. Uh, today is actually chiropractic's 132nd birthday, and 20, 23rd birthday, and it literally, there is no better way to calm your nervous system than to get an adjustment, and then you can permanently calm your nervous system by bringing the curves back. The second thing that we're seeing a lot with people is chemical stress, and specifically neurotoxins. So things like heavy metals, if your heavy metals are building in your body, then that starts to irritate the nervous system and puts you over here in this fight or flight reaction. If you're eating chemical laden food, if you're eating processed fake food, that's traumatizing to your body and it puts you over in this stress reaction. And then on top of that, if you have the, the damage going on with your spine, you've got the chemicals in your food, you've got the toxins, and your body is in that state of stress if you put one more emotional thing. So an overscheduled life, uh, a crisis going on in your family or at work, your body and your nervous system just can't handle it. So now that you get that you're overloaded, what can you start to do? So there are really simple things. So I love when people change their diet. We love teaching people how to pull these neurotoxins out. So if you haven't done a, a heavy metal detox, it's time to start to look at that. Uh, if you're not seeing a chiropractor, oh my gosh, give yourself a gift and go get to your chiropractor and get your nervous system relaxed. It is unbelievable how great you'll feel and how calm you'll feel after an adjustment. If you're really emotionally stressed, give yourself the, the break of 10 minutes of meditation a day, breathing. I, I had some, uh, a couple of women in here tonight that um, started chanting, because chanting is calming to the nervous system. And wow, what a difference when we got them on the adjusting table. Their, their bodies were in such a different state. 
So remember that being in fight or flight doesn't just mean that you have a crisis at hand emotionally. It can be physical, it can be chemical, and it can be emotional. So if you want more tools on how to pull you out, come on over to my resetters. We are gonna dissect the book, The Rushing Woman Syndrome, over the next week. I'm gonna give you a ton of tools that you can do it at home that are free and easy. They fit into a, a rushing woman's lifestyle. And I really, you know, I really, as a, as a gift and as a desire for our community and as a whole, want you to start to see that the key to health is you have to balance these two nervous systems. You've got to get yourself out of fight or flight. And part of that is removing the stressors and then learning how to build up the rest and digest nervous system. Learn how to, to train that nervous system. And that's what we're going to talk about over the next couple of days. So really put in that resetters in, in the code and we'll, uh, I'll invite you over there. Uh, if you have any of your favorite tips on how to do, how to build up the rest and digest, please put it in there. I'd love to know, uh, what, what your favorite tip is. And as always, I really, from the bottom of my heart, hope that helps. Have an awesome day.